Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about hitting longer, more powerful iron shots. What I'm going to discuss with you today is how we can get the club face in a really strong position that allows us to deliver the club with less dynamic loft, less spin loft, to hit longer shots, but also at the same time will also help our release pattern. So it has two benefits to it really, longer shots, but hopefully straighter shots. So keep watching to learn how to hit more powerful straighter iron shots today. Before we get stuck into the content, just a quick one. If you are a new viewer, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week on a variety of subjects and they're already designed to lower your scores and improve your golf. Also, make sure you chat and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to hear from me in the future. So today's content, what I want to talk to you about is the club face, particularly in the downswing. Now, what I see with a lot of golfers that come to see me on the lesson tee, online lessons and etc., is as they start the downswing, this club face gets very open, very weak, and then through the golf ball, they have to flap at it to get the club face squarer, or they don't, and then they hit that kind of slice and fading shot. Whichever way we look at it, they are increasing the loft this way at contact, hitting higher, less powerful shots, making sure they don't hit those low penetrating long iron shots that we all desire. Also, a lot of us are looking for obviously draw shots or straight shots. So getting the club face in a square or slightly closed position is gonna help that. I also mentioned in the introduction about the release. Now, one of my nice beliefs is really in the downswing, if I can get the club face in a slightly more stronger position here pre-impact, I can then turn to the golf ball. I have to release my hands less. I'm still releasing, but it is less. Rather than the club face being open and having to find that club face, get the club face into a square position to find that golf ball, that is much harder. It relies more on timing. And what we're looking to do really in the golf swing is make you as consistent as you possibly can and make you the golf ball as best you possibly can. So controlling how we manage the club face is a vital part in that. Now, as you might have seen on some of my other videos in the past, the club face is 75% responsible for where the ball starts with an iron shot. So it plays a huge role on the ball flight. So getting this club face into a strong position is gonna help us hit it straighter, start the ball on line more, and become a better, more consistent golfer. So a little visual to help you here, and you know, I will draw lines obviously on the video also, but this is the hanger from Watson Golf, and this has a club face on it, and I quite like this as a little visual. So if we imagine if I go through my swing here now, and if I try and get this club face pretty much parallel to my spine, top of the swing, match it with my forearm, so pointing more up to the sky, and as we come down, get that club face pointing more towards the ground, that gets that club face into a stronger position, and stronger position here, then through the golf ball, I'm trying to swing through it and almost kind of keep that Again, solid, not flap at the ball, not flip at the ball. That's what we're trying to avoid. So the way to practice it would be to use a device like a hanger, or indeed just do practice swings where we feel that club face position. And particularly in this pre-delivery position here, try and feel that club is more toe down, not excessive amounts. And what you'll see here is my left wrist has to go into more flexion to do that. Okay, and it has a little bit of rotation. That gets the club face down, and then basically hit the golf ball from there. The drill I want you to do to help this is swing back about rib high, turn the club face down a little bit so it points down to the ground a wee bit more, and then we're going to hit golf shots from there. This is the way of feeling that club face get into a stronger position, using our body more and reducing the hand action. Let's go ahead and try that. So take my setup as normal, swing back to about rib high, Turn the club down, and then go ahead and... And then go ahead and hit a shot away. So in an ideal world, I'd want you to repeat that action for about 20 shots or so. Once you've got a feel for that, then we go ahead and hit a normal shot. So if I go ahead now and hit a normal shot with a rehearsal of that move. I'll go ahead and hit a normal shot.
I can get the same feels in the swing again. Now again, it does feel a little bit manufactured at this moment in time because it's not natural for me. But that's the beauty of it. If it feels natural, I'm not doing it any different. So the ideal scenario is I'd practice this for a few sessions. When I play in the golf course, play with freedom, forget it. One thought is good, so maybe the rehearsal and then maybe just try and get the commitment through the shot and try and hit the stronger iron shots we're looking for. So today's video has all been about getting the club facing a stronger position to hit longer, more powerful iron shots and reduce the hand action through impact. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please click like and also share the video. Also chat down below, post any questions or comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you fancy it, send me your swing to my email and I'll have a little look at your swing and send you some feedback, very basic feedback, but I'll send you some stuff back. Lastly, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit my logo down this bottom corner and join me on my journey. See you again here soon.